Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsi and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included where last time we left off with uh, this uh, iron volcano dormant and I said uh, let's try again, uh, let's pass a few cycles so we can see uh, this one getting active again and this will happen pretty soon so this time the waiting worked in the meantime i have been uh, busy so down here i hooked up the second oil well and also uh, switched out all the wiring to a uh, conductive wire uh, dug in a bit on this side that's why we have quite a bit of oil sitting down here then here on this side we do not yet have any uh, puffs in here but we do have four morphs uh, that are currently in the process of stinking up this place so that should be good uh, once we get the uh, the puffs in there then what else uh, here tanks are almost full and then as we produce more polluted water over here than we can consume I set up a three fertilizer synthesizer uh, that should use polluted water um, to produce fertilizer uh, unfortunately, if you look at the uh, amount, it's still going up. Uh, and to counteract that uh, even more, I set up more heating space here, so we actually have um, uh, the whole farm uh, now in a temperature range where they can grow and that should also help uh, with the consumption of uh, polluted water and it has even risen uh, so high that now the, uh, the lower petroleum generator cannot work anymore. So maybe we should do something about this. Um, this one is not infected with any germs so we could uh, clean it and use it for something um, you probably do not want to put it in here as this water has plus 30 degrees and here we are below and that's the water that goes into the farm and having too warm water in here will stifle the crops but um, what we can do is, let's see, here we could even add a bit more uh, water on the, uh, on the input line and then uh, store the water somewhere. So, uh, let's see how we manage with the, with the piping. We go here and here. We could basically big water tank here um, dig 
everything out. All the way to here. There. We will have just a normal door here. And then we will have a liquid vent. Here and that way it should block uh, when the water level uh, reached this high. Let's finish the building first. Point three cycles, so um, getting exciting. So let's wait around here for that to actually happen. And the first eruption might be the most tricky one. Um, because there is the the largest um, the largest temperature variant. But I think with the, with the iron, with an iron volcano, that's still fine. There are the uh, the um, what are they called? The large um, not biomes. Here, um, the large the normal volcano, uh, which produce um, magma, and those are pretty uh, toasty, or I would even say hot, and there it goes. Pressure is rising. So once that happens, we should see some uh, uh, liquid iron coming out, which will then uh, heat up the the ice and the water. There's the the iron, um, and. Uh, we should see uh, produce uh, uh, steam uh, and then uh, we uh, can see the, the iron uh, going here yep yeah. and there all the uh, all the ice converted to water uh, which cooled down the uh, the iron enough so it's still uh, plus thousand degrees, but we are dropping it down in here, uh, uh, where it can f 
prefer to cool down. So it's, you can see that the temperature is dropping rapidly. And at least for now, we can use the uh, cooling power of, of this biome. Eventually, we might need to have a dedicated uh, cooling setup uh, like we have over here uh, to do a bit of additional cooling. I also set a glass forge uh, over here. Um, produce a bit of glass. It's always a bit uh, tricky um, to get it out, but I queued up 99 and uh, we have already done uh, about uh, a third. We will need glass a bit further down once we uh, reach out. Um, uh, into space. Nice, so... How much iron do we have lying around here? 400 kilograms at around 300 degrees Celsius and it's still dropping fast. Okay, and in here we are done. We get water in here. Um, which means basically this one we don't need any more. If we need water, we should take it from here. And let's see what we get out of here. Um, yeah, we will take the Weasword seed. And I also got uh, quite a few Draclets. So, or Draclet X, I should say. So, let's catch them. And put them in their uh, farm. We now also have glossy draclet here, which produces a bit of uh, of plastic, uh, but it's not a huge amount. And basically, we need quite a bit of plastic to uh, create. Um, creature traps so we can catch the morbs up here and uh, put them in down here so is flowing nicely and so far the water has not yet heated up enough um, to produce any steam so the steam turbines would be needed to cool down again uh, how are we looking here with our iron yeah now it's below 100 degrees and now that we have a sustainable uh, iron supply, we will add another station, which is probably a station, a power control station. Um, we will have one here, one here, and one here.
so yeah now the the levels are going down How are we looking with the pressure? Around 9 kilograms. Still a bit high. Okay, we should have our second batch iron down here. Yeah. Um, you can see the the temperature jumped up again. That's because uh, all the iron is is lumped together. And using this this cold biome to uh, cool down the iron will eventually result in the melting of this whole thing of which means we get a bit of uh, uh, space here uh, so we can build uh, something similar to to this we might even uh, use more of the polluted water over there just to get it out of the way. And then we will mainly need iron up here for the steel production. So I'm thinking um, we shall have a bit of uh, uh, shipping to bring it up there, so they do not have to, uh, to carry it, because it can be a bit, bit hot here. And we have already a shipping mechanism to get it out of of here um, because we do not want to go in there uh, that would be a pretty bad idea okay showers are being used great Quite a few draglets, but only one glossy draglet. And I'm hoping that uh, uh, over time that this will change. In, uh, in abundance um, probably not even showing up here so let's change that and check if there is anything else that we also want to include in the list over there Uh, 
up here maybe the the glass we know how much we have um, the wolframite um, diamonds Then the seeds is the last thing. Okay, now they are tuned up, which means they have, um, I think, a 20% or a 50% higher power output. Uh, this is the sand somewhere. Yeah, here we have uh, a 60 watt output. All are tuned. This one has uh, has 800. Can we find one that's tuned? Ah, okay. Problem here is room too big, right? Um, so that does not work. Um, a maximum of uh, 96 tiles and this room has way more. So, what we can do is this. Um, down here we have the same problem, and we will put a door in here that we will uh, open. That way we should reduce the room size. So yeah, we take sandstone because we are running out of that sandstone. Right, I think that's it for uh, this episode. We finally saw um, our iron volcano produce a bit of uh, iron and uh, on the refined metal front we should be uh, sorted for now so uh, join me next time for another episode of oxygen not included goodbye